Gods versus demons. Good versus bad. Darkness versus light. Get ready to witness a war surpassing time and space. The chaos gets so hot that the mightiest of beings, like the gods of destruction, the Kaioshins, and even the one above all who can literally destroy anything he wants, the Omni King will get involved. Who could possibly be causing all this chaos? Demon Ball Supreme Guys or something we have never seen before. Brace yourselves to see the terrifying Black Goku in action, as many more other mysteries wait to be revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the best chore of your life. This is something you should not miss. Expect the unexpected. In the last episode of Dragon Ball Super, we finally got to see the terrifying Black Goku in action. And he is as devastating as you could imagine. In the very first episode he appeared on, from what has been implied till now, he killed two out of the three main characters of Future Trunks' timeline. It comes as a bigger shock because DBS had been very lighthearted up to this point. So through this episode, they made it clear that DBS is going to be absolutely intense. The bottom line is, tighten your seat belts and get ready to witness what you always wanted to see. This black Goku has the potential to become the best Dragon Ball Super villain ever. The arc has the potential to be the darkest and the most impactful arc ever in the history of Dragon Ball. With the newly designed marketing system and the outrageous fan satisfying plot it managed to catch the attention of the mass. Almost all the Dragon Ball fans watched episode 47 and we are now so fucking excited about it, it is beyond explanation. Especially because though we saw Black Goku in action, there was no revelation in regards to his origin. We are only a few days apart from episode 48 but I'm so excited I can't stop talking about it and I can't stop speculating but I've already made all the logical assumptions. So I have come up with a very forced speculation based theory. It is extremely crazy but still a scenario found to imagine. If you aren't a fan of that, here we go, we have been warned. Okay, we don't know anything crucial about this Black Goku or the character that has been termed as Black till now. Some are saying he's just a shadowy, shape-shifting monster, but the most commonly well, they agreed upon, upon theory is that this, is, is, this Goku is being controlled by someone very evil and probably, and probably the main antagonist of this arc. There aren't too many options to assume from at this point of time since the only other guy teased was this green Kaioshin or Makaioshin. Makaioshins are the opposite of Kaioshins and are evil in nature. They break the laws of nature and deny authority, much like a negative energy of the universe. There are many theories circulating around them, like he might be the white shirt enemy Toriyama hinted about earlier, or since he and Black Goku have the same boots, it might be him who is shape-shifting to Black Goku. But we really don't know, he might actually be a good guy who will educate us about Black Goku. By design, I think he looks like normal Supreme Guy and not a demon wrong guy. If he turns out to be a bad guy? It would be more like an evil turned bad guy and assumable there would be a more original and uniquely designed villain above him who is pulling all the strings. However, whether he is a demon realm evil supreme guy or not won't affect this theory. We know, we know whoever, whoever is, controlling is controlling this black, black Goku, Goku must be really intelligent to be doing all this. this. Remember, Remember guys, guys Toriyama mentioned, mentioned this chaos will involve, involve the gods, gods of destruction. Of destruction. The Kaioshins, and, and even the, the Omni King, King. and the and gods, gods of destruction are universal level, level. And, and this Omni King is multi-universal level. level. He is literally, literally the god, god of everything, everything in Dragon, Dragon Ball universe. universe. This, this guy has the ability to destroy almost everything. He destroyed six, six fucking universes, universes just, just because he was slightly like pissed off. off. So, so the thread that is coming from the future is going to be universal level. As mentioned by them, the battle will surpass all the bounds of time and space. 
though they haven't mentioned it, there is a good possibility that we might witness a total war involving all 12 universes we know of. If it came down to, the, to gods of other universes, would fight under the order of Omni King. We now we know we are going to have a 12 universe omniverse tournament. So so this, so, could, be this could be a nice, nice introduction, introduction to each other of the universe before tournament. Before tournament. Even, before Even before the tournament start, start there, there would be a fan fiction versus battles giving, giving a good battles, backup. Giving giving a good backup. So it would be a wise plot decision. decision. However, However, if we all if have these fighters, have this fighters don't you think don't they would? come up with an army too and you can see where, I'm, can going, see where I'm going right, right? What, future what if future trunks timeline, timeline is completely taken over by the demon realm supreme kai and, and their ultimate form of power maybe the demon king as opposed to the omni, to the omni king. king yes i'm talking, yes, about, I'm talking about a demon god so yeah that's, so, yeah, where, that's where the war between the gods and the demons came from now we know goku along with most other dies in the future trunks timeline and we yet have we have black goku what so what if there's not only there's black not goku, only black goku but also, but also black future black gohan, gohan black vegeta, black vegeta and, and, even, a and even a superiorly powerful being like Yamcha. Black Yamcha. This would be this would absolutely, be absolutely mind, mind blowing. There could be a complete, complete black, black army. Guys, guys, think about it. If Black Goku was, Black really, Goku the was really the biggest surprise and the biggest, and the biggest, and the biggest of twist of, twist of this arc, would, would they reveal it so earlier on? on? And Black Goku does, Black Goku does look but strong, do really but do you really think he's strong, strong enough, enough to take out the God Goku and Vegeta, supported by the gods alone? I don't think so. What if the demon realm guys and the demon god, according to this first stretch theory, took over all of other all of the future trunks' timeline? So they have in hand the other world or the world of the dead. And from there, they conquered and resurrected the mightiest of warriors with ever developing bodies the universe has ever seen. Now, you might say the Android Saga feature Gohan and Vegeta would be too weak to compete with our current fighters, but so would be Black Goku. My assumption here is they took over their bodies, but instead of taking over their consciousness, they corrupted it and made them their loyal servants. Note that all of them were dead and demon rule Kai have really dark so powers possessing them, so possessing so them wouldn't be so all hard these they all these years they trained and them and mastered the attacks of their body as we black as we see black goku, goku using an original attack of goku, attack of goku that is the kamehameha way but a very darker one in the process they got significantly stronger so i have another theory regarding to their power not instead we see Black or Black Goku charging up a Kamehameha and for the time being, I'm naming it the Ultimate Dark Key Kamehameha. As you can see, it doesn't look like a normal Kamehameha. It is kind of purple and looks like it has a dark aura. And it appears that it is more powerful than a normal Kamehameha. So what do I mean by Dark Key? Okay, since now Goku and Vegeta have achieved the God Key which is the which is way superior to normal key, don't you think their new enemy could also have a special type of key to counter the God Key, but at the same time type much of a much it could be much of a negative or evil type of energy, maybe something a black magic related? According to Akira Toriyama, Ki is made up of three components, energy, courage and mind. Also, Ki can be positive or negative depending on the user. So we can say that God Ki is the ultimate form of positive Ki. The concept of godly Ki has been mentioned in Dragon Ball as early as the Majin Buu saga later to be detailed on Resurrection of F. God Ki makes a huge difference in power and it takes time to master using it. We see Goku was even unable to touch Beerus before achieving the God form. Being Deities, regular Kais possess the ability to sense Godly Ki and Supreme Kai possesses Godly Ki. The point here is if there is Godly Ki for the gods, 
or the seekers of positive energy, don't you think there should be an ultimate form of negative and evil energy? The type of energy the anti-gods, the Makayo Shins should possess, something more similar to the concept of black magic. So just like Beerus and Whis held Black Goku and Vegeta master the God Key, these demons gave them Dark Key and trained them to be able to use it perfectly and I'm assuming that they have control over them through this Dark Key. We do know Feature Trunks even after being extremely weak escapes from the hands of Black Goku. What if they actually wanted him to escape? Look at this shot, Black Goku looks a bit like in a freeze up condition. Maybe the demons wanted him to escape so that they could sense his key and travel back in time. If Black Goku is so strong that he can take on everyone, then why didn't he already kill Future Trunks by now? He's supposed to be so fast and there would be no escaping, so powerful that only a move of his should annihilate him. But we see Trunks deflecting Black Goku's move with his sword, so maybe that's what they're doing and time traveling might really be possible. As the galactic patrolman Jacko mentioned, time traveling is illegal, hinting that it is indeed an ability some other beings also possess. So since it is illegal, maybe it is done with the door key, but there are some kinds of limitations or requirements like following back a source of energy that in this case would be future drums. If we really get a total black army including black future Gohan and black Vegeta, it would be totally insane but at the same time it would take out the thunder of the first ever evil version of black even version of goku that is black goku but imagine the possibility what if future gohan comes to earth and kills Vidal and pan that would totally devastate gohan and might lead him to make the ultimate return we all want to see another question who could what could be the motive of the sudden outrage of the demons. On episode 47 of DBS, it was mentioned that the Omni King destroyed six universes. But what could be the actual reason he did that? What if those six universes got possessed by the demon, the evils and the dark key and to stop the further spreading of it he destroyed it all. But the demon realm supreme guys and even some of the normal supreme guys use jerk energy and illegally time travel to take over the future from the future timeline. Maybe some supreme guys even requested Omni King to give some more time but he did didn't want to take that risk. So now, over the years they built an army and are finally coming to attack the Omni King and all 12 universes seeking revenge. We don't know what might actually happen, but just imagine a war involving 12 universes, a god versus demon war. It would be so intense that the thought of it gives me chills. Even that doesn't happen. Even if it, even if it doesn't happen in this arc, it shall happen some sometime soon. Like maybe after the Omniverse tournament. Basically, that was just one crazy scenario that came to my mind, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I do realize that there's only a little possibility of something like that happening. But this is the fun of fan theories, do let me know what you think, share your crazy theories in the comment section down below, subscribe and be in touch.